Okay, the first thing we look at when there's a leak from the shower are the seals are on the edge of the shower. It's the most common place to get a leak. If you have a look, there's there's gaps in the ceilings. It's a place that where the water can leak through. Also a really common place is in the corner by right here. I'll just show you the outside. See the outside, if you notice, you can see it's discoloured. Looks like water's been getting through here. And you've got a big gap between the tree and the tiles. Now when we fit in a shower tray and a shower screen, put the tray in first and it has to be has to be a seal run all the way along. Right to the edge of the tree before the screen is put in. And then the screen is then put in, so we've got a seal that's running continuously behind the profile. And you haven't got a seal behind here, so what we need to do is take out, take out the, the shower screen, remove all the seals around the edge, reseal it so it's going all the way along, and then we can put the screen back in. The shower's been leaking into the flat below. You can see a watermark in the corner. You can also see seals are coming away from the shower tree itself. Also, if we look behind the profile, there doesn't appear to be any silicone behind. So we're going to remove the shower screen and we're going to reseal correctly. Now we've taken out the, sh the shower screen and this thing is called the profile which holds the shower screen in place. We can take the profile out and we can notice there's a gap in the seal behind the profile which is allowing water to escape. Now when we fit a shower tray we should put the tray in first then we can tile down to the shower tray and then we run a bead of sealant all the way around to the edge so any water that gets caught behind the profile will be able to escape into the tray and will not leak to downstairs we've also got gaps underneath the sealant here so we're going to strip out all the sealant and we're going to seal around correctly and then we'll put the shower screen back in now all of the sealant has been removed and we're ready to reseal the shower before getting the profiles back on the wall and getting the screen back in place sealant has not been applied to the tray including the corners where the profiles are going to go. The profiles are back on the wall. Now the seal is formed behind the profiles and we're ready to put our screen back in. The screen is back in. We'll just leave it 12 hours for the sealant to set and the shower can be used again. Watermark on the ceiling directly below the shower. You see it again. We've got gap in the seals. The corners don't look too great. And also behind the profiles. gaps down there, that's where water's been leaking through.
keep it away. He's been sealed now. Also sealed all around the outside. Now we don't seal the inside. We always just seal the outside because water will always get in behind the profile. We need somewhere for it to be able to leak back out into the tray. Now in order to reseal this, we need to get all the silicone off. Make sure it's nice and clean. You also just here.